Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dive into some alternatives to the new Nikon 50mm 1.4 lens that just came out. And we're going to talk about why some of those alternatives are actually better for you, especially if you want a sharper, more versatile lens. In the previous video up here, I talked about why I skipped the 50 f 1.4 new Nikon lens, but it's an affordable lens but it's not an S line lens. And there is a difference. Most of the gear I have, actually all the lens that I own right now, they're all S line lens. There's some lens out there that I do want that won't be S line, but right now at the moment, all the lens I have are S line lens. So let's explore some alternatives that are better. As previously mentioned, I own the 35 1.8 lens. And even though it is not a 1.4, it is an S line lens. So there is a difference. The Nikon 35 f 1.8 S lens is one of my go-to lens. It's versatile for street photography, amazing at environmental portrait shots, and even some landscape shots. Plus, the main thing, of course, is the S line lens, which means superior optical quality and durability. Another great alternative is the 85 f 1.8 S lens as well. If you're into portraits like I am, this lens is a fantastic lens for you. It offers amazing background separation as well as a crisp details. Even when it's wide open, I actually don't shoot at f 1.8 too often, but when I do, it's amazing. So even though the 50 f 1.4 lens is an affordable lens, it's not an S line lens. For me, the added optical quality and the build of the S line lens and durability are worth their investment. There's also some other great alternative by Nikon. Sigma and Tamron are also both looking to get into the Z line lens with a couple of options out there right now in a the moment. I don't believe they have a 50 yet, but best believe they'll have one very soon. So if you're looking for an even more budget friendly or 50 1.4, those might be an option as well. Let's talk about the price versus the performance. While the 50 mil 1.4 is very tempting due to its cost, the Nikon 35 1.8 and the 85 1.8 is a better bang for your buck in terms of sharpness, autofocus, and overall durability. At the end of the day, it all depends on you and what you shoot. If you want something more versatile, go with the 35. If portraits are your focus, the 85 is king. And if you're on a budget, those third party lenses are worth looking into once they come available. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you're team 35 or your team 85, or maybe something else. Don't forget to subscribe to Q Photo Lens for more gear insight and tips on photography. See you in the next video.